What's the dumbest reason a teacher ever hated you? Mr. Johnson despised me because I corrected his math on the board. It started during algebra when he wrote 2x plus 3x equals 6x, and I raised my hand saying, actually, that equals 5x. His face went red and he snapped, don't interrupt me, before erasing it and writing the correct answer. The next day, he called me to solve a problem at the board. I walked up confidently, but he'd written something I'd never seen before. Can't do it? He smirked as I stood there confused. The class snickered behind me. I returned to my seat, face burning with embarrassment. Embarrassment. Wednesday, he accidentally marked three of my correct answers wrong on a quiz. When I approached his desk, he shrugged and said, show your work better next time. I pulled out my calculator and proved each answer right in front of him. He reluctantly changed my grade, but his jaw was clenched tight. Thursday, during group work, he assigned me with the three worst students in class. While other groups got easy problems, ours received impossible calculus equations. Figure it out, he said when we asked for help. I spent the entire period teaching my teammates basic algebra just so we could attempt the assignment. Friday, he announced a pop quiz on material we'd never covered. I watched him place it specifically on my desk with a satisfied grin. Twenty minutes later, I was the only student who finished. He snatched my paper away and examined it closely, clearly hoping to find mistakes. The following Monday, he moved my seat to the back corner, claiming I was disrupting other students. I hadn't spoken to anyone. Tuesday, he gave me detention for sighing too loudly during his explanation. Wednesday, he called on me fifteen times in one class. Thursday, he assigned me extra homework that didn't exist for other students. When I completed it perfectly, he said my handwriting was too messy and made me redo everything. Friday, he sent me to the principal for rolling my eyes, though I'd been staring straight ahead the entire time. Week three escalated further. Monday, he made me stand for the entire class because my chair was squeaking. Tuesday, he confiscated my calculator, claiming it was too advanced for our level. Wednesday, he marked me tardy despite arriving five minutes early. Thursday, he announced my test grade aloud while keeping everyone else's private. Friday brought the parent-teacher conferences. My mom walked in confused about my sudden grade drop from A to C despite perfect test scores. Johnson leaned back in his chair smugly and launched into his prepared speech. Your daughter is disruptive and disrespectful in class. She constantly questions my authority and undermines my teaching methods. My mom's eyebrows raised slightly. She reached into her purse and pulled out her phone. Actually, I've been helping my daughter with homework every night. Last Tuesday, you taught the class that negative times negative equals negative. Johnson's confident expression expression faltered slightly. She came home confused because she knew the correct answer was positive. My mom continued, her voice getting firmer. Johnson shifted uncomfortably in his seat as she kept talking. I called the principal this morning. Turns out three other parents complained about your math errors this semester. Johnson's face drained completely of color. My mom stood up and gathered her things. The principal is reviewing your teaching methods starting Monday. She walked toward the door, then turned back with a final blow. Maybe you should focus on learning math instead of punishing students who already know it. The next week, Johnson was transferred to teaching PE. 